The time my identity mattered was during my freshman year of college at Earlham. I grew up in a welcoming, supportive Jewish community in Bexley, Ohio. Nothing prepared me for the anti-Semitism I would face at Earlham College. Earlham was established in 1847 by the Religious Society of Friends, also known as Quakers, and they promote Quaker values such as a strong focus on integrity, a commitment to peace and social justice, mutual respect, and community decision making. The reality became my nightmare, and I was an outcast. I was forced to stand up for my own beliefs and rights. Earlham did not support Israel nor Jewish students. The school disregarded both the local community synagogue and the Jewish Federation's request for a balanced panel discussion about Israel and Palestine on campus, leading me to fight the administration for an open dialogue. I faced many hardships. People egged my door, wrote Israel in red spray paint to symbolize blood outside my window, and I was forced to take a final exam where I had to argue against my own personal beliefs that I grew up with. I was sent fake eviction notices. I had to stand up for myself. I got support from the town government and local synagogue. The turmoil caused me emotional scarring. My freshman year of college, which should be the best year of my life, created untenable stress emotionally, physically, and academically. In the end, I knew that my beliefs and my identity was stronger than any need to confirm to others. Throughout the year-long battle, I became stronger in my own Jewish identity and developed a sense of e an even stronger sense of who I am and who I will become.